Our goal is to be carbon neutral, and we believe regenerative agriculture is going to help us get there. We planted our first regenerative crop on the Braga Home Ranch in the fall of 2020 for harvest early in 2021. Our CEO, Rod Braga, initially allocated 10 acres. We are already taking what we've learned and moving it to other production regions. Initially, I thought Eric was a little crazy. There's no blueprint for regenerative ag. We don't have the generational knowledge that we have on our traditional farming operations. Trying to present it to a commercial organization was a little hard to wrap my head around. We're reinventing the wheel. Where we would only normally have one crop, we now have three. We have ryegrass in the center. We have a clover, which we're going to choose a variety that attracts beneficial insects. It will fix nitrogen from the atmosphere for the next planting that comes behind it because we know that the more species of plants that you have growing in a field, the more that you can foster soil biology diversity. We're going to figure that out and we hope to be able to see some numbers that we can demonstrate that these practices are effective. One of the technologies that we're currently evaluating is an in-field CO2 sensor. Soil temperature, air temperature, humidity, dew point, pressure sensor that tells us when we're irrigating and how long we're irrigating for. And so this sensor is measuring carbon dioxide 24 hours a day. And what we're already seeing is fluctuations. When we started to take a look at the numbers, the vast majority of the CO2 that we're emitting is coming from our tillage operations. So really we believe that we need to reduce our tillage passes. And by doing that, we actually start to conserve carbon in the soil. We've had to modify our equipment to adapt to the different types of production practices that we're doing with the regen. In our trials, we're only going four to five inches deep on any tillage practice that we're doing. We're trying to only work the top few inches of soil to not open up anything below that. We are able to get our tillage work done in three to four passes, unlike the traditional tillage of 18 to 20 passes. We believe that changing our tillage practices is going to help us in a number of ways. When we reduce our passes with large tractors, we're going to be reducing the amount of CO2 that we emit into the atmosphere. We aim to conserve the carbon in the soil, creating a healthier microbiome, and we feel that we're gonna have a healthier plant that will be more resistant to insects and disease. Our current tillage practices inadvertently require us to use more water and more fertilizer. We're hoping that we can demonstrate to the industry that by evaluating tillage and changing how we till, we can use less water and we can use less fertilizer. The more we learn, the more we're changing things. We're trying to adapt what we have for our new practice. It does make me excited for the future. It's been fun trying to learn how to make this work. Our goal at Braga Fresh is to set the example for the rest of the industry. We find that all of the effort, time, and expense that we put into our regenerative organic trials, we do it because it's the right thing to do. It is what our consumer and retail partners are asking us to do. 